Toxic Kings and Queens. Today we have D.L. Hughley. We got Nikki Natural. We got Chameleon. We got Bishop Whitehead. And we got the couple, well, the married couple from Love is Blind, Ayana and Jared. Let's start off with Ayana and Jared. The Love is Blind stars Ayana McNeely and Jared Jones announced their divorce after one year of marriage. All right, y'all. So, I mean, at least they dug it out for a year, you know, because I did not have faith in that show. Ayana and Jerry went on their Instagram and said, what's going on, family? After much thought, we saddened to share that we have separated and will begin the process of divorcing. While we have love for each other, our lives are going in different directions, and that's okay. Coming to this decision was far from easy, and we will always wish each other the absolute best. We hope you all will give us some space as we close this chapter of our lives. Thank you for our close friends and family for loving us both through our experience. To the Love is Blind family and Netflix, thank you for this unforgivable opportunity and support. Each of you have brought overwhelming love and joy into our lives. This experience has taught us so much about ourselves, vulnerability, and love. We don't regret a single thing. I mean, sometimes marriages don't work. Just like, you know, relationships don't work. It is what it is. They tried to show out. They fell in love. Whatever the case may be in their partner ways. Wish the best for them. Next. It seems like Nikki Natural didn't appreciate Chameleon's comment on the on-site's post regarding her. If y'all do not know what's going on, you know, Miss Nikki Natural did this video. This don't bring me home a disease or outside baby. Men are not supposed to be with one woman. Y'all are kings. Y'all can be with multiple women. All of them women you are entertaining, make sure you make them happy. And we all can get along. One big family. I don't run no nigga down. Hey, baby. As long as I'm happy, she happy, we good. No babies, no disease. I ain't got to kill nobody. You good. And now Miss Chameleon had wrote this regarding the radio. At least she knows her worth. Miss Mickey Natural went on her stuff and said, okay, done let this goofy chameleon slide too many times. All right, she said, first of all, how you got me blocked on IG but still got my name in your mouth like you had Briscoe's D? Second, who are you? How you beefing with me and I don't even know your real name? Third, how you got a BBL but you still need a BBL? BBL fail. Fourth, how you on HBO special and don't nobody still know who you are? Thank me later for the free promo. Hope it helps. Fifth, why did Rennie Rucci have to kick you off your video set? Hard to work with. I heard your music career fail because of just that. Six, why you not beefing with Suki and Bill? They the ones who jumped you at the dentist's office in Miami. Is that case still open? She also say seventh, if you don't like me, why your right hand man shorty was kicking it with me in Duval at my booking? Eighth, tell the people how you damn near cry because of the cover of my single, Get Your Bread Up, out on Apple. Had you looking exactly how you looked on Love & Hip Hop. A mess. Ninth, all y'all from Love & Hip Hop tried to tear me down, but when people got around me and love on me, it don't only clarify the hate and jealous you women had for me. Tenth, this is the most I have ever said about this bird. She jumped on a Nikki Hay train from day one on Love & Hip Hop season three. All right, that was two years ago, and she still don't have a valid reason or explanation as to why she don't like me. You can never be in my lane because I'm usually on a plane. Now twerk for me, chameleon. Go tag this bra. She blocked me two years ago and still on my clitoris. P.S. Why they always got goofy A's, B's like this representing my city? Hey, go find something safe to do. I heard them hands ain't hitting on nothing. Now, that was a lot, y'all, but we're waiting for Chameleon's response. Is she going to respond, y'all? I don't know. Now, we got Gucci down Bishop Whitehead from Brooklyn, y'all. If y'all do not know about this situation, go watch this video. Now, let's get into the beef Bishop got with D.L. Hughley, y'all. Well, let's get back to D.L. Hughley. He admitted that he's a womanizer, right? And I said, you're a womanizer because you're a punk. That's what you are. And you're sitting here and you're trying to pull me out of my character for ratings. So D.L. Hughley, this goes out to you. Let's get in a boxing ring, tough guy. You think you can talk to the pastor however you want? No problem. He said, well, I don't box. Me neither. Let's get into, if, you, if you're tough behind the, the mic, right? Let's go and let's get into the boxing ring, right? 
I'll make sure a million dollars is put up. A million dollars right now, right? Because you since you tough and everybody wants to see it, talking about you clout chasing. No, it ain't about no clout chasing. It's about I'm real. I'm from Brooklyn. I don't know how y'all feel about Brooklyn, but at, at the end of the day, Brooklyn taught me, and I'm not no punk, y'all. Yes, I'm a bishop. Yes, yes, I got the word of the Lord in my in my mouth. But at the end of the day, y'all better read your Bible. The Old Testament prophets didn't play. Elijah cut, killed 450 prophets because they tried to play. That's why. That's what happened. So turn me into an Old Testament prophet. Hey, no problem. At the end of the day, D.L. Hughley, D.L. Hughley, D.L. Hughley. Everybody talking about Bishop. Why are you doing this? Cause I want to. Cause I want to. D.L. Hughley, meet me in the ring. We putting a million dollars up. First of all, how you got a million to put up for a boxing match and your church is struggling, as you say? Like, what is going on over here, Mr. Scammer Bishop? Anyways, D.L. Hughley not going to fight you, so what you going to do next? Anyways, what do y'all feel about this situation, y'all? What y'all feel about Chameleon and Nikki Natural going at it because of what Nikki Natural said? And I don't agree with her. I don't feel like no man's supposed to have multiple women. And this is the reason men are going to look at that and be like, oh, I need a woman like that. And they're going to be searching for a woman like that. And majority of us women are not like that. So good luck with that. And Bishop need to stop. Um, you know, it's not a surprise that Ayana and Jared, you know, broke up after a year of marriage. Because I really didn't have faith in the show. I don't know who would do that. But it is what it is. Dio Hughley has not responded as of yet. So stay tuned for that. Make sure to comment down below, like and comment. Make sure to subscribe, click that notification bell because y'all already know when I drop. I got y'all to leave.